Oh, thank goodness you picked up. It's me, Peter. Listen, you're the only one that will believe me. Please, get here as fast as you can. There's something terrible happening in this town behind the Red Mountains. Demons are sacrificing people, and they only need one more victim to unleash their dark god upon the world. I think they're hunting me. I can't hold out much longer. Servants are right behind me. Remember, changing light to dark enables you to view their world.
We've received information about an old pyramid situated in the center of this small town. Ancient manuscripts discovered near the area say that the pyramid contains the demon of darkness. The manuscripts also say that many centuries ago the demon ruled the world, but was somehow defeated and imprisoned within the pyramid. If he escapes, the whole world will be swallowed by eternal darkness. Lately, people have been mysteriously disappearing from town. Some claim these events signal the awakening of the demon of darkness. Could the manuscripts be a real warning from the past? Well, it seems not. Before me in the center of town is the town hall and not the ancient pyramid. So it seems the manuscripts were just an interesting fable from a time long forgotten. Impossible. The legend is real. The town hall has somehow turned into the pyramid. Finally, after all my research, I finally found what I believe is the secret passage that leads to the ancient pyramid.
We're here at the hospital interviewing Dr. Black about the recent exodus from this small town. Maybe she can explain the recent mysterious disappearances. Is there any connection to the recently exhumed manuscripts? Preposterous. Our town has been slowly dying over the years and the remaining citizens have finally had enough and left, that's all. There's simply no jobs here. You, the other rumor mongers, are simply sensationalizing the otherwise natural decline of our small town in the outskirts of civilization.
I'm here to tell Sheriff Ramsey about Dr. Black's unnatural transformation. He's the town's last line of defense and my last hope. You must be desperate for a story to come to my town and start making things up. You journalists are just trying to make news where there ain't any to be had. You and the rest of your pack better go and poke your nose elsewhere before I kick you all out myself. Not yet.
It's like a ghost town here now. One by one, everyone has gone missing. I've begun to feel a strange presence within the shadows, as if I'm being stalked as prey. I'm alone, but I must continue my investigation, if only so people know what happened to me. The museum curator is one of the last people left in town, but he refuses to meet me for an interview. As a last resort, I've decided to sneak into the museum and perform some covert filming. Master. Everything has been done just as you commanded. Your awakening is inevitable. We've managed to ensnare the final sacrifice. He was so persistent in his investigation that he practically walked right into our arms. We'll take him to the temple and then perform the ritual sacrifice so that your power will become absolute.
you for releasing me from the evil powers. The demon of darkness overrode my soul and made me serve him. Now my soul is free, and I will tell you how to defeat the demon. If you manage to prevent the last sacrifice, the demon will be imprisoned in this pyramid for a thousand years and will be powerless once more. The magic crystals of the ritual circle connect the soul of the victim to the demon. Break this connection! Thank you, stranger. You helped my soul find peace. Take this amulet. It will help you open the passage to the Hall of Sacrifice.
You've managed to defeat the dark power that controlled me. I'm grateful to you, and would like to show you the secret that was known only to me. The sacrificial altar can be broken only with a special weapon. It's not easy to get. You'll need a spell to reveal the hidden place where this weapon is kept. Find this weapon and destroy the demon.
Finally, you've set me free. The demon of darkness is defeated, and the world is safe for another thousand years. All the horror you saw in this town is just the tip of the iceberg. I saw in a museum some documents in the archives that sent shivers down my spine. It told that there are many ways the demon can enter our world, and it spoke of a similar town in Southeast Asia where this is possible. I feel we are the only ones capable of stopping these dark forces from destroying everything.